Pleasure. Marcus just told us that Ryan's uh, not going to be living with his love interest. He's not going to be like a father figure. There's no kid uh, for the love interest. Yeah, that interest. did a little. We, we did a little switch. Okay, so how happy is he in terms of like involvement in the relationship and how that affects his work? Good. Yeah. No. Really. Really um, happy, and, and I think that the uh, the differences between the beginning of the first season and the beginning of the second season is that. Being in a happier place and being, uh, you know, shaking off this kind of Joe Carroll obsession was something that was only I was only pretending at at the beginning of last year. It was really a mask that he was wearing. But but this year uh, he really is trying and open to the idea of letting lovers, friends, and family into his heart. And, and uh, uh, you know. I think you'll see a lot more, like in the, in the, in the pilot, uh, you'll see more teeth from me than you'll ever have seen, because I'm smiling. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and laughing and dancing. And, you know. so it's, 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 I mean, it doesn't last very long. As the season goes along, what are your hopes and aspirations for the growth and development of your character? Well, you know, I, I, I want it to be play a heroic character, but I wanted to play a heroic character who was deeply flawed, who had struggles, who made mistakes, who uh, has demons. That's to me is what makes heroes interesting. And I think you will we'll see that continue. I mean, whether or not it catches up with him or not, you know, and how he gets past the Joe Carroll. And the other thing that I think is kind of, well, there's a few things. One thing that I lobbied hard for this year was I felt like there's a lot of bad uh, choices made by me in terms of the way that I handled cases, taking them along by all means, killing people in a sometimes random sort of way. I wanted there to be some atonement for that. And I wanted there to be blood on, on the hands. Um, and I think they've done a really good job of you know, bringing that to light. Both in terms of being haunted by memories, personally as a character, but also there's um, uh, a congressional hearing about our methods and uh, you know trials and stuff like that. So I think um, Getting past that, getting through that, all interesting stuff. So, can you talk a little bit? I mean, obviously, it's going to be San Diego Comic Con now here in New York. Can you talk about the fandom for this show and just, you know, how excited these people are for, for information? It's been incredible. Yeah, I, I love it. Um, you know, it's, it's beyond my wildest dream. The last thing you want is for people to not really care about the show. <laughs> uh, and, I find Comic Con, you know, I've only been, I've only been to Comic Con with a kid. Um, I've been more present here with the following. Uh, I, I walked around yesterday in disguise. And, 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 and I, I had a um, stick of mustache head. And, uh, I was Mr. Baker. <laughs> and you know, to see the energy and the um, passion amongst such a huge group of people for the things that we wake up every day and do is very inspirational. And you really have to keep that in mind when you go to work. Because you tend to sometimes work in a bubble, you know, and you kind of think, well, I've had a long day, I've had a bad day or whatever, you know, you know ratings or you look at stuff, you know, but what you really have to keep in mind is that all of those people there, all you know, those people that show up for a uh, panel, we have a responsibility to try to make our show as good as we possibly can. We have a responsibility for them. And they're the people that consume entertainment, and we as entertainers have a responsibility towards them. And I think the common is, is is the place where you really can focus on that. Yeah, you're pretty active in social media too. I follow you on Who Say. Um, so, and, and you have had such an amazing and long career. I mean, uh, how is this act, being so active in social media? How does that affect your relationship with your fans? 
do you feel? Well, it's yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the it's one of the best parts of, of, of social media is to actually see responses, and, and you know, a lot of you know, people are often um, afraid of it, um, and I certainly. Um, was kind of nervous about it and when I first heard about it I was like that is like there's no part of me that is A interested in what anybody have for breakfast or B do I want to share that's like I did not understand it at all uh, and was kind of late to, to the party but what I the thing that I find about social media is that it is mostly um, support and and informative you know uh, it's mostly people saying, I, I like this, you know. Like, I don't get this. There's not a whole lot of, like, hate. Out there. And if it comes, <laughs> you know, you can just block it. And that's what nice. Do you feel like some of the shroud of mystery has been lifted around the entertainment? Okay. You know, I think there used to be that... That little bit of undercover, so, you know, people what just I know feel, everything. I, you know, I, what I feel about entertainment is that it's changed so drastically in so many ways um, that certainly, you know, in, 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 in the 40s and 50s, there was a complete trap behind people, you know, whatever, like, you know, relationships and all kinds of things. But entertainment is. Even in the last five years, you know, uh, where we get it, how we get it, what it looks like, uh, it's, it's, it's changing so quickly that I almost hesitate to even comment. It's like you just, you just, I just kind of like sit here and just watch it go by and try my best to continue to do good work. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thank you. Have fun.